Okay, so you are saying that Diana nodded slowly, bringing her hands to her stomach and fiddled over her fingers. Oh, well. Took me some sleepless nights, but I do believe I can perform a reverse ritual, which would in essence turn a demon into a human. What? Oh, right. I thought oh. they were going to reverse the thing she did before. Oh, but okay. I guess she kind of did when she what, vomited in his mouth or something. Mm. I can't remember exactly. There was just haze. Yeah. My heart stopped. It was possible now. How are you sure? Wouldn't you, you know, need God to do it? <clears throat> could hear the twinge of sour strain in Damien's voice. He was right to be sceptical because, yeah. After all, she had failed to turn him human before. What was to say that she wasn't? this wasn't going to be a failure as well? Diana Just shook... like Diana. <laughs> yeah. Diana shook her head and lowered her hands <laughs> to her sides. I'm not. Nothing like this has ever been done before and it could be risky. Hell, you could even die from this. What? Us? <laughs> Us? His face. Oh. Oh, gosh. dear. Gosh, oh, no. I instantly stood up from the bed, making Diana turn her gaze at me in shock. Really? This could kill Damon. There was no way in hell I was going to go through with this if she was suggesting such a thing. Then what are you suggesting? Suggesting that it's an option. A risky one, but an option nonetheless. Diana turned her eyes to Damien, seeing him straighten up in bed and gaze back at her with a serious expression. I know what I did back then was wrong. I still did it because I enjoyed it. My intent was to make you as human as possible, but there was no method to even do that until now. If this works, you'll become human. I swear it on my family name. You have a family name? I only know you as Diana. Not Lilith. It's well, oh, I swear on my mum. <laughs> on my mum. On my mum. Uh, well, it's his choice. I don't oh. fucking know. It's... Fuck it. I don't give a shit. It's just, yeah, I don't care. This is about 20 minutes from the from the last game that is somehow being dragged out. Yeah. It's... Wasn't my place to speak or not. This whole situation was dangerous, but it was ultimately up to Damien to be human or to be demon, that was something he had to decide. Love Damien, no matter what. I looked over at Damien and watched him look back over at me, a glimmer of hope in his eyes. I could tell what he wanted, but would he ask me anything? Would I have a say? <laughs> Why wouldn't you have a say? Before, dun, dun, dun. before my eyes, the world around me froze and I was shut in a room of darkness. Everything barely tinted in shadow. What? Looked around, feeling stuck to my spot as a dark laughter echoed around the room. <laughs> It'll be so selfish of him to become human without considering your feelings first. Wouldn't you agree? What do you want now? Yeah, I'm just stating what's deep in your heart. Nothing more. What do you mean? Don't tell me I have to spell this out, dear. Damien turning human. He'd lose all of his powers. He'd be worthless, weak and simple. I mean, he's like that but now. But he's like that with all his powers. Yeah. I mean, his powers at the moment consist of getting drunk and fumbling drunkenly with brain magic as opposed to his hands. That's that's it, really. But what if it's what he wants? Do you even know what he wants? That's why we're about to ask him. Yeah, that's how relationships work. Yeah, you can just ask him and, and trust that he isn't lying because that would be shitty. Yeah. The memory of my wedding day flashed before my eyes. The voice was telling the truth. Did I really know what Damien wanted? Was there anything he wanted for the best? What? 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 Hang on, hang on. I want this. Would it make you happy? I don't know. Possibly. Might do. Might do. That's basically what any one of us has. It's gonna. What about if we don't do it? Well, I won't get any happier. Yeah. Might get sadder. Who knows? The voice chuckled deeply, a relaxation settling into my core. I mean, with the whole demon-human thing, it's basically, you know, body just for you. Yeah, effectively. Yeah, it's 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 basically that. Um, and there again, so, not my choice to do yeah. what, any, what, any, what you choose to do with your body is your own fucking yeah. business. His body is rules. However, if it makes you less attracted to him, fine, go bang one of his brothers. Yeah, oh, all of them become less attracted to him. It's not your fucking body, stop whining. I mean, if you're less attracted to him, fucking dumping, move on. Yeah, get on with your life. Let them get on with theirs instead of going, but it will yeah. make me look bad. It's not about <clears throat> you. Now you're getting it. 
I remained silent, now all lost once again. What was best? What if turning Damien human meant destroying who he was? I became trapped in an endless cycle of questions and confusion as the voice finally vanished and let the world continue on its journey toward in time. This is basically turning her into a turf. Is is that the idea? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what it seems like. Yeah. The voice is just the turf. Mm. The er turf. It's it's just some kind of you know, it's it's not an individual person. It's just the concept. <laughs> You do not have to decide now, but I will be awaiting your answer if you do wish to try. Thank you. Yep. Diana nodded before leaving the room, most likely to prepare for the day. Well, yeah, that is a good assumption, I suppose. Damien and I stood in silence. Me lost from the voice in my head and Damien lost <laughs> in his own thoughts. What were we supposed to do? <laughs> I was lost from the voice in my head because I don't have my own internal monologue. <laughs> <laughs> we had to introduce a mysterious presence. That's because I couldn't justify having my own thoughts and feelings. <laughs> <laughs> the option was now on the table, but instead of da Diana sleeping with Damien, there was a chance that Damien could lose his life. His life. Yeah. Um, wasn't sure where I stood on the issue, but it didn't have the options I was given before and now. Was it better to just leave Damien a demon? Was it worth dying to become human? Let's put it like this. Um... A lot of people, a lot of trans people can have complications when it comes to surgery. All surgery has complications. They think it's better to take the risk to risk to live yeah. in the right body than it is to remain who they oh, are. Yeah. Any surgery can kill you. Exactly. Because of, you know, anaesthetic and shit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, complications are such a broad term because it might turn out suddenly anemic or something. I don't know. Exploding I mean, liver. <laughs> Exploding <laughs> liver syndrome. Or, you know. I feel like I should Google that because I feel like that'll come up at some point. <laughs> well, we just someone gets put under and their liver explodes. <laughs> they yep. don't even come open or anything. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, yeah, it is um, re reference to trans stuff. Yeah, top surgery, liver explodes. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> the voice in my head teased me, prodded me to <laughs> This person's ghost going, what the shit was that? <laughs> Voice in my head teased me, prodding me to convince Damien to think against himself, but my heart knew the choice was his alone. As I looked to him, I could see the conflict in his eyes while he stood and took up both of the breakfast plates Diana made for us. Nom, 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 nom. He walked to me at last and handed me one, looking nah. into my eyes and locking our gazes on each other. That's how looking at people works. Okay. It, it seems like he's going to ask you to have sex with the food. I'm okay with this. Uh, was he going to ask me? Was he going to keep the choice to himself? Selfish. I mean, Self I mix it. Selfish. <laughs> Shellfish. Shellfish. I mentally flinched at the words, hearing it ring in my heart. However, as Damien turned and sat down on the edge of the bed, I watched as he let out a sigh before starting to eat. I guess the choice was going to fully be his own, whether I liked it or not. But it's his choice. Yeah. We ate inside. They're, they're putting a lot of drama into things. It's just basically, yeah. That's how choices work. Yep. We Other ate... people are not you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> he ate in silence until he left it's, for his training. It's a fairly basic concept, to be fair. Other people, not you. They're different people. Have different choices. You might yes. not like their choices, not your choices. Yes. <sighs> I headed for my own. Never had I felt such strain and worry pull up my heart until that moment. I needed to work it out. I slowly became more comfortable with the sword. I like the fact that it just fades to black gotcha. when she's training. Oh no, there's no one there. I've missed out an entire part of the story. I began to do more tricks, becoming more agile, more aware of my surroundings. As I continued to slice through the chaining dummy, I decided to call Mal. Don't know why, but the name felt right for it. It's not in any way a reference to Malix then from the previous game. <clears throat> No. No, no. It's and she doesn't remember what. And that's just a weird thing because she could have just. It could have just said it seemed an appropriate name, and that would have been a nod. Whereas this one is a nod, denying it's a nod and assuming the main character has amnesia. I trekked to my room, letting the day fade to the my, back of my memories as I remember Diana's words to Damon. She would have a ritual set up for him if he wanted to be human, but the choice was his. Yes, part we get me, it. A part of me screamed hit to stop him. The risk of his life wasn't worth it, but it was something he desired more than anything. The fix seemed simple, but it was deadly. 
I could lose the man or love over something trivial, but was it trivial? Wow. Of course it is. I wasn't surprised anymore, glaring at the floor as the voice made themselves known in my head. He's being selfish. Why be a human when he can be happy with you as a demon? Why does this change have to happen? Because it's what he wants. But what do you want? You're the one about to sign your life away to him forever and ever. Well, you, you, you can always say no to doing that, have mm -hmm. you? Shouldn't your opinion matter on whether he becomes a human or stays a demon? Not really. Oh, it shouldn't well, matter. It shouldn't yeah. matter, but it's a case of, ultimately, it's not what the main matter is about. Yeah. With regards to the relationship, it would matter. Yeah, but different. My mind began to agree, but wasn't that selfish within itself? Yes. Was I truly that important to be where I was allowed to decide Damien's choices because I was his soon-to-be wife? No, you're not. I continued forward, letting the dark chuck from my voice reverberate into my into in my set head to a simple echo. This was my choice, and the voice needed to stay out of it. Whatever it was, I would deal with it in due time. And for now, my focus was on Damien. Hey! Hello. I found Tons. my shirt. <laughs> I reached our room to see Damien standing by the door, obviously waiting for me. As he caught sight of me, in the he smiled and walked over to me, meeting me halfway. In, in the slight hallway to our room. Yes. Why can you just wait hey. in the room? Why can it just be, he met me in the hallway? Hey. Couldn't mask the worry in my voice. I was nervous, frightened beyond anything else about this. There was a lot of stake and I became a witness and potential victim to it all within each minute that passed. But would Damien listen? Would he understand? Would he give a damn? Um, would he do if I voiced my worries? Would he give a damn about the risk? Did he give a damn? Gazed into his eyes, seeing a hopeful fire burn within them. His answer was clear, while mine wasn't. I was completely uncomfortable to be in my skin, but I had to accept this was an obstacle we had to face one way or the other. Damien took my hand and held them to his chest. Would you be upset with me if I went through with it? Well, she probably would be. Well, she was she's perfectly selfish. happy with it until 20 minutes ago. Yeah. It's... Part of me felt like screaming, begging for him to reconsider. The other part of me wanted to simply shake my head and accept what was about to occur. I was completely torn. I gripped onto Damien's hand, clinging for something to soothe me, make me feel at ease when nothing came. I scrambled to try and answer him. Fuck it, there is no choice here. If it makes you happy, do yeah. it. I had to accept it. It wasn't my choice to make at all. It wasn't fair to Damien to demand he change his mind for me. Besides, I loved him no matter what. Human or demon, he was still the man I loved. Staring into Damien's eyes and I gripped his hands and hugged, hugged them to me lovingly. I could see the pure joy in Damien's eyes as he stared down at me, tears lacing the edges. I love you no matter what you are. If you truly wish to be human, then let's do everything we can to make that happen. Oh, no matter what, eh? I'm going to be a goblin now. That's not human. Yeah, but she said no matter what you are. Oh, fair. <laughs> Just... Before I let right. It's some illusion spells to really fuck with her head but when we finish this ritual. Before I let Damien reply, however, I brought his hands to my lips, kissing over them with a now worried expression. I was still scared I could lose him. Yeah, you might lose him every time he crosses the street. But please, please, don't you dare die on me. I can't bear to live without you. Damien nodded and leaned him. And leaned him. <coughs> Proofreading. Also, kissing over my forehead gingerly. What, the, so the top of your head? Or... Um, I, I guess... Uh, no, I don't know. I'll do everything I can to survive it. A wave of relief washed over me just from his words. Maybe he was enthralling me to calm me down, or maybe his love simply reassured me that everything would be all right. Either way, this was happening. I looked up at him and caressed his cheek, feeling him lovingly nuzzle into my palm like a puppy. Well, then let's tell Diana. A smile danced along Damien's lips before he wrapped his arms around me and buried his head in my shoulder. I could hear him whimper a bit in happiness as I wrapped my arms around him, pulling him close. Isn't this a really stupid time to do this? Yeah, why don't you just do it after the murder wars? I could faintly hear the voice in my head scoff. Wow, you're really going to let him die. How sad. I guess you'll have to prepare a funeral instead of a wedding. I rolled my eyes. Yeah, that's appropriate response. 
and held Damien tighter. I wouldn't listen to it anymore. I believed in our love more than anything. We would be okay. I mean, if you consider telling anyone about the evil voice in your head. I mean, it would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. The two days doing... that... Fo- what? You were going to say something. Oh, sorry. Um, just, just the voice in their head and everything. Considering that it's known that she's under a curse. Um... Well, we did talk about her intelligence. That is true. She's smart no. compared to the people around her. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'm pretty sure his brothers uh, try to catch frogs of a Sunday evening. Two days that followed came filled with the work from Diana and her group. Upon Damien's request, Diana ordered a massive search for everything needed for a transmutation ritual that would normally have been used to make a human a demon. The worry of the ritual <laughs> bubbled in my cup. Shush. So I'm just sort of thinking that the, the original ritual, just a massive middle finger pointed at the sky. <laughs> you know, up yours, gold <laughs> written on it or something. I can do that. See? Oh, no, you can't see. Um, but I was going to be all right. This was something Damien and I decided together, and this was going to make Damien happy. That's all that mattered in the end. Of course, the experience would have been great, even without the lovely voice in my head trying to convince me otherwise. I settled that voice. I settled that the voice was some form of worry, some form of regret. Yes, they really have given her an internal monologue that is something else. Wow. I was holding that was morphed in to represent Diana, the one who placed the worry there years ago. I would beat it out as soon as Damien nah. returned to me as human. <laughs> as the seventh day arrived the ritual was prepared and ready for us the others gave us their own concerns and wishes hoping for the best regardless of what happened we were positive that we would be okay we were not the end <laughs> <laughs> we thought everything would be okay everything was not okay end of story Entering the war room, Diana looked over at the pair of us, nodding and stepping away from the table. On it were arranged purple and gold candles, all lit with black, but somehow illuminating flames that flickered in the air, blah, 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 blah. So it's basically anti-Satan candles or something. I don't know. Oh, we need you to eat this anti-demon juice. Is that just holy water? Yeah, it is. Seemed mystical and shadow. Oh, I've been watching um, the new Good Omens. And, yeah. Um, yeah, it's really good. I mean, if you've got Amazon Prime, go look at it. But, yeah, they do holy water in that. It's amazing. Cool. It's so cool. Um, looking to Damien and pointing to the large space face between the arranged candles. Lie down when you are ready. Damien oh, yeah. nodded before turning to me and smiling, taking my hand and kissing it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, you'll be here when he's over, right? I'll be here when it's here. I nodded, smiling up at him and kissing his hand in return. I will, I promise. Smiles. Oh, I know why this is, they're pushing this so hard. Because if you didn't have the good ending Mm -hmm. with Damien and had one of the other endings of Damien, Mm -hmm. he wouldn't have stopped being a demon. So they have to make, they have to really hit this hard for him to not be a demon. In order for the rest of the story to progress. Oh, okay. Oh, that's true, actually. We got the really shit ending, didn't we? Yeah, the shit ending where they just live happily together. It was terrible and horrible in every way. It was terrible and there was no rape scene or anything. No. (laughs) That's not good. (laughs) (laughs) It was horrible. They were just happy living together forever and ever and snuggling and stuff. Yep, this is better. A smile was exchanged between us before Damien looked at Diana and walked to the table, stepping up on a block that was placed for him near the table. He can climb up. He's a big boy. It's a table. You sit on it, then you pull your legs up. That, that's that's it. As Damien settled onto the table. Diana walked over to me and took my hand, guiding me towards the table as well. I want you to watch. Huh? A theory, indulge me. Right, now shove your face into his crotch while we put these candles up his bum. <laughs> Are you sure this is the right ritual? What? What <laughs> ritual? Oh, right, that's, that's tomorrow. I watched as Diana guided me to a chair beside the table, letting me sit on it before taking Damien's and my hands and clasping them together. This is part of the ritual? No, but it's a theory that I have that might help. 
Oh, good. Oh, good. Test subjects. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to change the already really iffy ritual we've got into what, another thing that I'm not going to uh, explain properly. Diana closed her eyes and wrapped her hands around Damien's and mine, letting a soft purple glow emanate from them and circle around our hands. You are human and full of energy. If something falters, we can use your energy to rekindle it and resume the ritual. Can you just do, you know, so we're a heart massage? Fear sank into my core, remembering the risks of this transformation. But at least Diana was trying to find ways to make the ritual work. It was rather thoughtful. Oi, battery, get over it. <laughs> Damien smiled at me before laying his head back. Why aren't all the other wives here then? Yeah. Um, and staring at the ceiling. I squeezed his hand as Diana removed her hands from our class one. Purple magic continued to dance around our hands and I smiled back at Damien. Ready? Damien and I nodded at the same time before both of us closed our eyes. I could hear Diana step back and mutter under her breath some sort of Latin incantation I couldn't dissect. Have they ever explained why it's Latin they speak for no. magic and stuff? Because last I checked, the Roman Empire didn't have much to do with the demon world. So... Uh, depends on how much you think Catholics are heretical. <laughs> what, are, what are you going to leak through? You just... Yeah. Catholicism. <laughs> just... To be fair, Catholicism leaks through. If, you, if you're talking about religion, it does. I just like the idea that oh, there's just there were, there were just so many Catholics, it just kind of bled through and everyone in the demon world spoke Latin when they did magic for some reason. Or maybe, maybe, <laughs> demons were shit at magic. And humans had to work it out. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me either. <laughs> As she did, the energy around the room began to pulse and wave like an ocean in a storm. Oh, yeah. Air began to brush against my skin, causing me to look down at Damien, seeing the black fire around the candles around him intensify in their illumination. I tightened my hold on Damien's hand and shut my eyes again, desperate and hopeful. This had to work. It had to. Right, we're going to suck the demon out of you. It won't. It won't work. In the darkness of my mind, the voice appeared, making me grimace. Leave me alone. No, I thought it was just, leave me alone, and then just moves on. Yeah, leave me alone. I'm telling the truth. It won't work. He'll die and you'll be all alone because you wanted to make him. Uh, oh, shut sh up. Shut up, would you? Hang on. <laughs> I went too far. My mental shout made the voice silence itself. I'd had enough of its torment. It's teasing and prodding. Nothing was going to go wrong. Glared into the dark, gritting my teeth. I could have opened my eyes and it would be less dark, but I'm going to be fine. Damien will be human and we'll leave this world for good. I mean, if she opens her eyes, then we'd they'd have to draw more stuff. Um, so Fair. I took in a breath and focused myself, remaining calm and hopeful. I know what you are. Then say it. Make me believe it. You're an ass, Fez. <laughs> I stared into the dark. I felt a small smile grace my lips. It was clear who the voice now. You're my worries, my doubt. You're my emotions intensified and transformed into some sort of haunting being in my head. It's just the question mark of, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yes. Silence became my confirmation. I personified my worries and my doubts and they become a voice in my head because I'm a fucking it's weirdo. Definitely not, it's definitely not that the demon lord hit mute while they were laughing. <laughs> I really hope that's it. <laughs> no, what a moron. <laughs> Trying to guide me towards the wrong choices. As I was magically inclined, it became... Apparently. A... Apparently, it became <laughs> an magic... actual shadow that haunted my thoughts and dreams. Woo. Feeding off my fear and dread and becoming part of me, I couldn't shake off easily. However, now I could because I'm magic. With this transformation, I would finally destroy it. I was wrong to doubt Damien. I was wrong to doubt myself. This is what we need and nothing is going to keep us from the goal we want to achieve. We will defeat the Demon Lord, go home and live happily, li happily li ha bleh, happy lives together as humans. I wanted to be firm. I wanted to stand strong. As I finished be speaking, however, the voice simply chuckled. But if Damien becomes a human, he'll die at the Demon Lord's hands. Unless we shoot the Demon Lord in the head with, mm. a, with a blister or something. I gasped as memories of my nightmare flashed before my eyes. Damien was a human in the nightmare, dying by sacrificing himself for my sake. It's almost like it was a nightmare. 
Simple realisation shook my core, making me fearful once again. If Damien became human, I'd lose him anyway. My soul became heavy and racked with doubt. There we are. You can't even win this little battle with me. Either way, you lose. Oh, think of your boyfriend. Lie back and think of England. I began to flood my mind with thoughts of England. I mean, Damien, our love in the human world. We're so happy and joyous together, forgetting the worries of the world and simply living with each other. There was no greater love story than the story I lived with him and it would continue to love with him till the end of time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Damien and Diana's voice ripped me from my thoughts, gasping at the sight of a came, came I became witness to upon opening my eyes. God, this Jesus. is written. <laughs> Damien... Four out of ten, see me. <laughs> Damien's body became engulfed, engulfed in black came, flames from the candles, fire wrapping around his body like a cocoon of chains. Damien, focus your energy and save him. What, to so just look at him and squint? Which is what? <laughs> I slammed my free hand into the hand I was clasping tightly, tightly uncaring, uncaring that the flames were licking at me as well. I dug um, my hands into his hand, shutting my hands tightly. It's a lot Jesus. of hands. Hands, 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 the flames, as they accepted my terms, quickly began to snake off Damien's body and up his hand to me, wrapping in their tight embrace and burning over my skin. Yeah! No! I could feel Damien desperately try to cling to me, pulling my hands towards him. Still, I remained in place, unable to feel anything else by the flames that ripped at my skin. Soon, I was falling back off of the chair I was sitting on, slamming into the floor, fleeing my entire body engulfed by the black flames. Burn it, burn it, burn, burn. Soon the cool embrace of death was all I could feel. The darkness all I could see. The last thing I could hear was Damon desperately crying out to me. No! End my life for yours! Wow, we can actually just kill ourselves. Yay! Hey, we don't okay. have to play this anymore, do we? Huh? No, we're just ending now. I, just... No. Oh. You know we're not. Oh. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Yeah. I'll have I'll have loaded it to this bit and then I'll you tell you I'll tell you what so we don't have to do it again. I'll look up the playthrough and just do the good bit until this yeah. moment, so we don't have to worry about that fucking thing happening again. Okay, deal. Probably just shout for it, and it's fine. That's not my guess. Probably, I don't care enough. Take me instead. It's literally why we're doing this thing with the hands. Oh no, dead. No, 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 dead, dead. It's deaded. Fine. Deaded. Okay, everyone. Bye, bye. Watch John Stewart's full statement before the House Committee demanding a.